Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. You can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. Okay, so Sagittarius, I am seeing that in your past something has come to an end. We have the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. So I see that a relationship has come to an end. And for some of you, you feel as though maybe there's no second chances when it comes to this person here. Things are never going to be the same as before. Things can never go back. We're moving forward. We're taking charge. We're taking action. I see a lot of momentum. I see that... With the Three of Cups, this could have indicated a love triangle situation in the past. And I see that there was multiple people involved in this. And I get that in the past. Um, at one point, you did have some good times with this person. And you did have... Uh, you did have memories that you have created... And I see that this is somebody who you have dated or this is also somebody who um, could have been a friend. But something has come to an end. Somebody feels, somebody has felt as though they've been left out. They've been left out in the cold, abandoned or ignored. Somebody has been ignored and somebody was only thinking about themselves here and what you could do for them or vice versa. With the Ace of Wands, I am getting that um, the spark in the past here has kind of like burnt, burned out. Things can never be the same. For That's what I'm hearing. In your person's energy, we have not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, and jealousy. So let's look at what your person is thinking and feeling here in terms of you. We have the Nine of Wands. So this person is exhausted. They are frustrated with um, the way that things have gone and the battles or arguments. I see that your person is tired and they are lacking confidence in you two together at this moment here. So with the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing that they feel as though um, there could be other people that have been trying to um, butt in to this situation that has been exhausting them. It's causing them to be a little bit jealous as well. So I see that they're just... At this point, they're jealous because they. I see this person um, is aware of the fact that things are at a standstill and that you're either not on speaking terms or you're not on good terms at this point in time here. And um, this person feels like you don't want anything to do with them at this point and they are getting frustrated by that here. I see that right now at this moment... Um, they still feel a spark. They feel st still feel attraction and chemistry towards you. But I see that they're having a hard time trusting you. I see this person has some trust issues here. And they're just not ready to take action on communicating. They are, at this point in time, unavailable in your energy, we have karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So let's look at what you are thinking and feeling 
we have Knight of Wands. So, um, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius like yourself. I'm seeing that with this Knight of Wands, there's something quick happening here. There's communication here. And I see that for some of you, you may have um, cut cords with this person very, very quickly here. Um, there was something that had triggered you. Something that caused you to make a quick and fast decision here when it comes to uh, cutting this person out of your life and turning your back towards them. And I see that you're starting to take action on your happiness. You're putting yourself happy. Uh, you're putting yourself first. And I'm seeing that um, for some of you, you're realizing that you weren't actually happy with this person. And this is what you had to come to a realization of here. And I see that now you're focusing on your happiness. You're focusing on things that are healthy, things that are going to bring you um, abundance here. So I get that you're starting to, you're starting to quickly gain some clarity, quickly start getting some realizations here about a decision that you were really on the fence about. So in the near future, we have the mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, Relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So let's take a look at the near future for you, Sagittarius, and your person here. In the near future for Sagittarius and their person. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. So I see that in the next few weeks for you guys, we have uh, some something destined, something faded. The divine is stepping in here. I see that there is a form of communication coming in for you guys. Like this is a small form of communication with this page of swords. So somebody could be like trying to communicate with you, replying to something that you posted or liking your picture or something like that. Somebody is um, trying to get your attention here. It could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. And I see that there's changes when it comes to love. I'm seeing that in the near future for you guys, we have we have good luck. Good luck is on your side because we have the two of cups here. So this is true love. Things are changing very, very quickly, very rapidly here. I see that somebody is starting to realize how they truly feel, um, gaining that clarity here on their true feelings. And I do see that there is luck. We have a partnership coming in here you two are mirroring each other so you two both feel the same way about each other here and I see somebody coming in wanting to fight for this wanting to create some changes and wanting to um wanting to wanting to create good changes here so with this mirroring each other and I see relationships reflect our wounds somebody was reflecting their insecurities your person was reflecting their insecurities their jealousy here um and i see that in the near future for you and this person you're starting to change you're moving on from a situation that was just difficult and i see that you're finding true love here and i see that somebody's coming in and wanting to fight for you so this person is wanting to fight for this in your outcome, we have talking. So I see you talking to this person, interested, conversing more, a weighted message arrives, text, call, email, and hoovering. So let's take a look at your outcome here. What's the outcome with Sagittarius and their person? 
Nine of Cups, whoa. We have a wish fulfillment coming in for you guys. So I see that with this Nine of Cups here, you're going to be very satisfied, very content. I see you and this person being very happy about the way things are going. Judgment, there's another chance here to a situation where... Um, for some of you in your past, you thought there was no second chances at all. But judgment, there's another chance here. Um, somebody wants to make some changes. And I see that it's a wish fulfillment. So um, something is, someone is being like resurrected here. The Hierophant. And I see a relationship coming out of this. Or something, someone doing things traditionally. Somebody is changing their, their morals and their values. So you and your person, I feel like you're starting to align yourself with this mirror. You're starting to align yourself um, with somebody in particular. With your morals and your values. So you two are going to be seeing eye to eye. And being on the same page with each other. Having a conversation. Where you're going to feel like you're on the same page here. Um, it's exciting. Page of Wands. It's going to be very uh, good news for you guys. So this looks like it's uh, somebody who's very very interested in doing things the right way. And it's going to be a wish fulfillment to you. Because in your outcome you're, we have the Nine of Cups. And you're going to be very, very happy about it. So let's get some details here for you. Some details for Sagittarius. We have blonde female. You or your person could be a blonde female or a redhead. Or have really light hair. You could work with this person. Or you could have met this person through work. Um, this could have been a work friend in the past here. So I see that in the past you could have had a lot of mutual friends with that Three of Cups. And I see that... Um, in the near future, things are going to still be a little bit up in the air here. Things are going to be a little bit confusing because things are being aligned here for you guys. But I see the past returning. So the past is in your future here. But this is coming from somebody who you wanted. Um, with that Nine of Cups, it's going to make you happy. Somebody is coming in for another chance. So there's another chance here with somebody from the past, a past love who is still... Um, who whose heart is still shattered over you and this person is coming in with a fight and maybe even some tears. So I'm going to get a few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. Is there anything else that we should know? Oh, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life with that wheel of fortune here. There's something that is still needing some more time. You see that, um, I forgot what these things are called, hourglass. This hourglass is still needing some more time before something significant can happen, before some major change is made. So, Divine timing is at work in your love life. Things are still going to be a little bit up in the air. Unsure about where things are headed in the in the near future. But in your outcome, I do see that it's going to become clear to you. It's a past life relationship. You have known each other before. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I do see that there is a conversation coming in here. Um... From coming in from somebody who you believed was your soulmate. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.